Hello from Slovenia again. Uh, today I have this. Uh, poo, what is this? Ten by. Uh, no, fifteen by thirty centimeter canvas, and I have this um, design block with the same uh, measurements I don't know if this is the right word just a second uh, and this is the same uh, paper uh, which I use when I do this dips if you remember I just want to show you some and you see when it's dry it's totally um, flat so they work really well I just love this one uh, and I and I love this one too want to see if I can get a kind of similar Effect if I do this on canvas so I hope that I will get uh, one painting on canvas and one of the on this uh, paper so uh, that I can frame it or something I don't know <laughs> because for greeting cards is too big so uh, but this is the plan for today and we will see if this will work or not I will pour some white uh, I will do sides later so I will just pour uh, spread this paint on the canvas uh, and when I do dips I tell this many times but maybe I should tell more often I use the same consistency for the base coat as uh, for my colors so uh, when we do some other techniques we use a thinner mix for a base coat but for my dips I use pretty thick uh, base coat so and I think that this is important to cook to get uh, nice results maybe not but this is just my opinion and I will share what I think about my paintings and my work and all this so and um, uh, I normally do experiments for the first time on video so this is the first time to do this too and we will see what will happen and today I will use some turquoises some violets and gold metallic gold I have a little bit of my white left for my sides and I will just do this. This was deep turquoise and this is metallic uh, kind of turquoise. I don't know. It says green. This is my craft paint again. And I think that I will add a little of this yellowish green but 
little more here. And I hope that this will not be too much of turquoise paint. This is just green turquoise. And another metallic. And I will add metallic gold. Ultramarine violet and some of this dark violet. This uh, permanent blue violet. I like uh, violets and turquoises together, so I hope that. This will not mute it too much. And I will add a little of this metallic, I don't know, kind of magenta color, I think. And just a touch of this dark violet at the end and now I will put my kind of card it's not a card because it's much bigger so and press it down I will try to lift it like I lift it um, when I did those cards and see if I can get this effect on this um, bigger maybe I should do this to press down Canvas. I hope that I will be able to turn it around again. And let's see. And I start with two corners and try to pull this this way kind of. So let's see. <laughs> Yikes. Just slippery. Maybe I should start here. So you see when I where I did this uh, second try I just pull off too much paint in the middle so it's not uh, the same that it is when I do on my cards, little cards, so let's torch this and see what will happen because I have some metallics and it should react.
Hmm. Don't like this. Uh, this upper part too much, so. I think that I should uh, start here, not uh, on top like I did. So, don't have enough white paint here, so I will just add some white on the Sides. And I will leave this uh, yellowish, yellowish green out and maybe to just a little more of turquoise and slider turquoise and metallic turquoise and gold Violets again. This one is empty. And I will use another one because I will leave this one and see if I can uh, use it or not. I can maybe cut it in smaller pieces. So I'm just thinking I will add a little of. This purple too. I will just put this aside. It's totally different when you press this on the canvas or on the surface with a paint. When I do dips and I uh, dip cards in, in the paint that it's left on the surface. So. This time I will 
try to lift it a little more like this. This is more what I was hoping for, but <laughs> I added uh, more white paint here and then I get, and because of that I get this white space on this side, but I will leave it and And see what how this will look when it will be dry. It's a lot of paint, but I don't want to tear this much. I don't have. Um, issues with with cracking so I'm not afraid of that but I just think that I have to till this just a little bit or maybe I just ruined my painting uh, this one is just gorgeous I will show you I will torch this a little bit uh, so for the next time Maybe I should add less paint and only in the middle and now I know how to lift it to get this uh, effect in the middle but here I had too much paint already and I lost this middle part because I tilted it so. I really have to learn when to stop. <laughs> I have beautiful middle part and now I lost it. But I like these colors together very much. And I will show you all this beautiful lacing here. I'm so, so mad to myself, angry to myself that I tilt this and ruin this middle part
why somebody isn't here? Stop, Fiona. You will ruin it. Probably you do, but I didn't hear you. Just a few. I will take you for a close up. So here is canvas. This is the part that I like the most, I think. See all this beautiful lacing here and these colors together are just gorgeous I think the details and the colors are really really beautiful but I probably add way way too much paint I have to add just a little paint in the middle to get the effect that I want and this is the second card and it I think it's just gorgeous. You see this um, kind of petals in the middle? I lost that uh, on my canvas when I <laughs> tilted it. So next time I will definitely do a little more less paint just in the middle and this is the first one uh, that I didn't like as much but I think that I will be able to get I will try to show it to you that way because uh, some nice little cards out of it this one is definitely my favorite because of all this beautiful details and I love this line in the middle 
and I love the effects on this one and color combinations and I love some parts of this painting. I'm in love with this part here. This part. And my light again. But I don't like the whole painting. So definitely want to get something like this next time but as we said this is the first time experimenting this and I didn't know quite uh, how much paint I have to add and what will how this will look on the canvas just try to show you this detail if I can without a glare so I just love this one uh, so I know for the next time what I don't want to do <laughs> and I hope that I will get better result and I love this part too very much and this part here too but as I said not the whole piece so this is it for today and see you on the next one bye